Servus Freunde, my name is Dennis the Buddy Meister. And I'm Jimmy Cage. I welcome you to my channel, Buddy Meister's awesome Indian movie reviews, with Jimmy here, who will play a small and very unthankful part as my sidekick. I love it. <laughs> Today we talk about a small little movie from the Kannada industry. It is called Lucia. It was directed by Pavan Kumar, and it's about a man who takes drugs and buddy. just wants to live in his. Wake up, buddy, my star! Uh, wake up! <laughs> what? What? What's going on? What do you mean? We were recording a review, and you fell asleep, you moron! <laughs> Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and I'm Dennis, the Moron Meister. Sometimes it's really quite hard to get hold of all the different movies that were recommended to us, but this time we got lucky and finally found a way to watch this one. The movie that we are talking about is the Kannada language mystery romance drama Lucia from 2013. And you know what? It's always nice when a movie like that is actually good, because I kind of feel bad when I don't like a movie that was recommended a hundred times. Yes, it's never easy to disappoint, but it's always the best way to be honest. Lucia is good, but not great, at least in my mind. But I think you liked it better than me. Did you think it was great? Well, it's of course a matter of definition, but parts of it are definitely great. As a whole, it's not quite up there with the best Indian movies that I've seen so far, but I really liked it and I was surprised that it turned out that way. Yes, I mean, we talked about that beforehand. I saw Lucia first and told you how I felt about it. And I think with that, I kinda imposed my mindset on you and you were going at it with a certain expectation. Totally, and as it is with expectations, you can't really not have them anymore if you're at some point exposed to any kind of opinion or information about a specific movie. It's a completely standard procedure, so to speak. In the end, that can turn out either good or bad, depends on the person. So I had my expectations and as I was watching Lucia, I was kinda waiting for things to fall apart in front of me and it never happened. Things falling apart is a bit strong because that didn't happen for me either. It's more like that Lucia is combining most of the things I like about Indian cinema and most of the things I don't like about it. And I can absolutely see that, but maybe I was a bit more forgiving. Let's talk about the history or impact that Lucia had first, because this was a tremendous achievement for the Kannada film industry. Lucia was directed by Pavan Kumar, who also directed U-Turn, which we reviewed a few months ago. Lucia was the first Kannada movie that was crowdfunded, because Kumar simply couldn't find a producer and so he wrote a post on his blog created a Facebook page after the response to the blog was overwhelming and through the Facebook page he found 110 investors who were willing to give him money. Overall, Lucia was made on a budget of $72,000. And that's still not a lot of money, but hey, what he was able to do with it, hats off. And after its release, Lucia got praised from pretty much every Indian industry, from actors, from directors. It really pushed things for Kannada cinema, not only in a visual way, but also of course because of its layered story. The two-sentence synopsis on the IMDb is pretty accurate. It says, a man suffering from insomnia is tricked into buying a drug. Lucia, that makes his desires come true in his dreams, blurring the line between fantasy and reality. And that's pretty much it. And as I initially thought, Lucia is a bit Christopher Nolan, a bit David Lynch, a bit Darren Aronofsky. Also a bit Alejandro Amenabar because of Open Your Eyes, which was remade as Vanilla Sky by Cameron Crowe. Yeah, and Kuma made no secret of it. He said that he took inspiration from those directors and movies, and we can actually also see Nolan's first film following on a TV screen in the movie and also Requiem for a Dream. It was quite a bold endeavor, and before we dive a little deeper into our analysis, here's another little trivia. Lucia was actually also the first Kannada movie that was released on Blu-ray, so another groundbreaking thing. Why didn't you like this movie? <laughs> Stop it. I like the movie. It's all kinds of charming and you can really feel the passion that all the people involved put in it. But there are things that are realized or are implemented in such an obvious way that I thought, why do we need this? And I actually know why we need this, because Lucia tries or tries to do something new for this small industry and that has of course to appeal to people. So in a way, I can't blame the movie for it. But that also doesn't mean that I have to like everything about it. I'm pretty sure I know what parts of the movie you're referring to, but I never thought that these things took the upper hand. But let's talk about that. 
Earlier you said that the movie is combining many things you like and also many things you don't like about Indian cinema. Let's make it a mild spoiler discussion from here on out because it's easier to talk about it that way. A big thing for me is this overarching narrative with the investigation. It's very far-fetched and almost unnecessary. It's a prototypical thing that many Indian movies have. We always seem to need this additional narrative that somehow frames the core story. Oftentimes, like in Lucia, it's some kind of investigation of some kind of mystery. Because, and that's another thing that bothered me, we also need to have a big twist at the end. I mean, the twist itself didn't bother me that much, but I think sometimes Indian movies put too much emphasis on a twist, as if a twist alone automatically makes a film so much better. Both things kind of come together in the end, but still, it just wasn't necessary to make this a gripping story. You know, I totally get it. The investigation is in fact one of the things I didn't like that much as well, but the movie used it very sparsely and it didn't take me out of it when we turned back to it. It's handled too easy in the end though, when the detective solves everything and all the loose ends tie together because we actually didn't see him investigating that much. But the things he finds out, the twist, uh, I actually didn't see it coming. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it got me. <laughs> Interesting. I don't think it's super obvious, but I thought it was kind of a given that there must be a twist with this kind of movie. And so I just assumed, well, maybe it's not really this way, but actually like that. And also, who didn't recognize Nikhil as the person in the coma? Anyway, the twist itself is alright, but I'm not so sure about how it was executed. I felt the movie was rather unfocused, with just a lot of things going on. I kinda liked that. Lots of stuff happening, but I could follow it easily and never got lost. All those layers, it was quite gripping and I was eager to find out the endgame. But didn't you think that it was a bit muddled and all over the place? I mean, there was no real focus and the message they are pushing for it in the very end felt kind of lovely, but also a bit cheap, I don't know. I think I didn't take Lucia that serious, to be honest. I just sat down and let the movie wash over me. I actually thought it was nice that the drug wasn't the ever-present hook of the story. Instead, we were treated with all the things that the drug triggers and caused. And we kind of forget the drug through that. It's fitting. Okay, that's true. What you call being all over the place, I call the world of the dream, <laughs> to quote another Christopher Nolan movie, because the loose and scattered narration makes sense in the way that our protagonist really is all over the place. Yeah, maybe you have a point there. And though I felt the movie was a bit sluggish, I really had fun with it. And I was very much into the protagonist and more so the love story between Nikhil and Shweta. The actors had a good chemistry. Yes, it's their movie really. They were pretty good, especially Satish Ninazam. And there is also this funny part where Shweta wants Nikhil to learn English and she sends him away with those English-speaking women. That was really great. That part was a blast. And Lucia has a lot of those. I was rather surprised how genuine funny it was and I laughed many times. The black and white sequences were done in a more artistic fashion. But in the end, though they looked a bit shabby at times, the colored passages and the many fun interactions that Nikhil had is where I enjoyed the film most. Nikhil is one of those characters that barely survive, which of course is why he wants to escape into his dream world. The movie oftentimes makes fun of him, but always with a sympathetic touch, and that's so enjoyable. Absolutely. Lucia also has some nice songs. Maybe not that catchy when it comes to the melody, but with good and heartfelt lyrics. And the cinematography is also nice, especially in the black and white sequences. There are shots that look pretty amazing. But in turn, there are also shots that are not so amazing. Yeah, well, it's like that in regard to a few things, but I really see it like this. A young filmmaker, and Pavan Kumar was only about 30 when he made Lucia, tries something new for his industry, takes inspiration from the best, and does everything to get the movie produced. He writes the story, the screenplay, he directs, and he edits. And the story and realization is filled with love for cinema. It's really a big achievement. You know what? Yes, it is. And it gets extra points because you and I also worked as ushers and torchbearers in the cinema here in Vienna. Which was not only another direct link to the world of cinema, but also straight to our own experiences, which was a big plus while watching. So, what would we say in German? 
Lucia ist eine Liebeserklärung an das Kino und der geglückte Versuch, eine kleine Industrie nach vorne zu katapultieren. Konzeptionell, visuell und erzählerisch kühn und interessant sind es nur Kleinigkeiten, die die Euphorie etwas bremsen. Insgesamt aber ein fesselnder und denkwürdiger Film. I give Lucia 7 out of 10. It's more like 6.5, but I don't do that. For me, it's 8 out of 10. It's more like 7.8, but I don't do that either. So another one of those big recommendations is in the books, but there are quite a few left. <laughs> yeah, please don't get discouraged and keep on recommending movies to us. We only do one review a week, but maybe the next one is yours. And until then, you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram simply at the Jimmy Cage. And you can hit me up simply at the Buddy Meister. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like, and make sure you hit that bell for all we have to tell.